Now let's solve this AAS triangle. We have an angle, an angle, and a side. These are consecutive. Whether we're going clockwise or counterclockwise, we're looking for angle, angle, side. And in general, we always use the sine law. Unless we have SSS, unless we have side, 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 or SAS, side, angle, side. In this case, we have AAS, so we use a sine law instead of the cosine law. Under these two circumstances, we use another formula, which is called the cosine law. So we're going to use a sine law. Let's find theta by adding three angles. We know that 31 plus 108 degrees plus theta equals 180 degrees. So we have theta equals 180 minus 108 minus 31, which is 41 degrees. Now let's focus on x. Using the sine law, we play catch. So we have sine 108 degrees over x equals sine of the angle over the number. Now it's up to us how we play catch. Now we already have the side length 5 and 31, so we'll play catch this way. If we have information this way, we're allowed to play catch this way as well. But we'll focus on 31 degrees and 5. So we have sine 31 over 5. The angles are on the top, the numbers on the bottom, or vice versa. The numbers could be on the top and the angles could be on the bottom. We can cross multiply. So we have x sine 31 equals 5 times sine 108. Dividing both sides, we have x equals 5 sine 108 degrees divided by sine 31, which is approximately 9.23. So we solve the unknowns. Let's solve the following SSA triangle below. Let's begin by solving for theta. We play catch across the triangle this way. So sine theta over 4 equals sine of 135 over 8. We multiply both sides by the denominator 4, so we have 4 times sine 135 over 8. So sine theta is approximately 0.35355. Hitting sine inverse, we get the angle theta is about 20.7 degrees. Keep all your digits of accuracy. So now that we have theta, let's solve for the other unknown. We'll call this alpha. Alpha equals 180, that's the total angle for a triangle, minus 135, that's one angle, minus theta, which is this number here. So what is this unknown angle alpha here? It is about 24.3 degrees. Now let's solve for A by playing catch this way. Here and then here. So we have A over sine alpha equals the side length 8 over sine 135. So multiplying both sides by sine alpha, and by the way, alpha here is approximately 24.3. We have A equals approximately sine 24.3 times 8 over sine 135. Using your calculator, we get a side length of 4.65-ish.